Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> okay, how are you today? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, I'm okay, thank you, thank you. I went to San Miguel today. Well, not, not exactly San Miguel, but I went to, I think it's Nuevo Guadalupe, I think, near Chinameca. But it, it was a, it was a nice day. It was a nice day. All Very right. Tight. Huh? Very tired. Uh, in a way, because I left my house at four in the morning. Wow. And I arrived there like around seven o'clock. But I, I made like two different stops in two different gas stations. So, but it was all right. So I, I expect to sleep like a baby today. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. What's today's date? Wednesday. Wednesday 28th. Wednesday 28th. Exactly. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? We were speaking about wishes. Wishes. Used to. Okay. Used to. Wishes and used to. What is the structure that we use when we talk about wishes? The past simple of the verbs. Right. The simple past structures, simple past. positives, negatives, uh, you use the simple past. Yes. How do you say me gustaría que no lloviera? I wish it didn't rain. I wish it didn't rain. How do you say me gustaría que lloviera? I wish it was rain. It rained. It rained. Yeah, it rained. Yeah. I wish it rained. It exactly. Rained. Exactly. Yeah. Very good. So whether the, the your wish is positive or negative, the structure is always in the in simple past. past tense. That's mandatory. Yeah. That's mandatory. I wish I had a four by four. I wish I had a a nice truck. I wish I had a big house. Or I wish I didn't have pets. I wish I didn't have uh, noisy neighbors, for example. Just an example. I don't have noisy neighbors. The place where I live is really nice. So children, they play until 7, 8 p.m., uh, but neighbors are cool. Yeah. All right, so let's begin. Okay, uh, how many tenses do we have in English? 12. 12. Do you remember some of the names of the tenses? Mm -hmm. What is the first tense that you usually see? Present. What present? Simple present. Present. Simple present. Simple present, exactly. What is number two usually? The simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Number three? Present perfect. Present perfect is like number six or number seven, but today we start with the present perfect. Yeah, future. Future. Present continuous, past continuous, future, simple future, and then present perfect. Remember, we have 12 tenses. Every tense has a different structure. Every tense has a different function, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, what can you say about the present perfect? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
I will assign you to work in pairs and we will give some extra minutes to the ones that are not here yet. And um, if you don't have much information about the present perfect, that's fine. If you want to check online, go ahead and do it. Thank you for being responsible and being here on time. Create rooms. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, talk about the present perfect, please. All right. Okay. Um, I have I have eaten an apple, for example. Mm -hmm. Or she. So, what I have, you have, she has, we have, they have. Uh, has, has, has is has. for uh -huh. third person. She, she has. Excuse me, she has. Okay. Yes. Um, for example, I watch the movie. That is the simple present. Okay. But if, if we use used to, we are speaking about things that we used to do in the past. Yes. It's just the simple present that we use to in this moment to speak. Okay. Yeah. Um, what do you do? Hi. Hi. And then we use this tense when we want to talk about uh, unifficient. Unif I, I don't know. I'm finished. I'm finished. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. 
I'm finished. Yes. I'm finished. I'm finished. Stance. Mm -hmm. Digo, action, action, actions. Action, yeah. I'll finish action. Good. For example, another example, the phone. Uh, so, you have I, it, it in mind. Mm -hmm. Maybe also I have drunk wine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. So the, the the structure of the sentences are always have the subject auxiliary verb uh, have or has mm -hmm. plus, and plus verb. main verb in past participle uh -huh. past participle past participle uh, mm -hmm. complement mm -hmm. and similar for for questions you only put first the, the auxiliary pair uh, following the subjects and close the main verb uh, in past participle too mm -hmm. and close complement yeah Okay. Do you mention when the action happened? Uh, no. No, no. Mm -hmm. Right. We you don't, you mention don't mention it. it. You give the information, but you don't mention when it happened. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Let's yeah. go back to the main mm -hmm. session. Teacher. Yes. Ask me. I have a question that when you, if you want to make a question, you put ever. Uh, if, if you want to include it, uh, you can. How do you say ever in Spanish? Alguna vez, maybe. Uh -huh. Right. So, if I want to ask you, Carla, have you ever been in a helicopter? Mm -hmm. You know, the answer is yes, I have. No, I haven't. Uh, mm -hmm. Then you can say uh, ever, alguna uh -huh. vez. So we're not asking about time, but I just need to hear a yes or a no. Ah, uh, Okay, thanks. Okay, all right, good. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right. Okay, I need volunteers to give me feedback. What is the present perfect? How does it work? What's the function? Is the subject? Uh huh. Is uh, the verb in present? Are you sure? Yeah. The present Close. perfect. Yeah. Is auxiliary auxiliary verb first? Right. What auxiliary verb? Had and has. Have or has. What's the difference between those two? Has. Which one do has we use for the for third person? Has. Has. Okay. And what is the form of the verb? Present. Past participle. Past participle. Past participle. So let, let me give you an example. Okay, you have eat, ate, eaten. So eat, ate, eaten. Eat is base form. Eight is in the simple past. Eaten is the past participle. Another example. What is the past tense of go? When. And the past participle? Gone. Gone. <laughs> so you said, yo nunca he probado sushi. I have never eaten sushi. sushi. Right? Or you can say, I have gone to the park two times today. 
I have <laughs> gone to the park two times today. Yeah. Okay, so I think that we're clear with the structures. Any questions or comments about the structure? Teacher. Yes, sir. I have a question. Ask me, Carlos. Uh, using her for, for a sutrar, using her. Have? The, the, um, have is, is uses only. Have, you, when you use the present perfect, you use have and has. What is the function of have or has? Yo he, ella ha, ellos han, he, han, hemos, that is half. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, in has, it's el ha, ella ha, el perro ha, la computadora ha. So, have is, 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 is that particular meaning. And we use have for I, you, we, they. He, she, it, you use has, but they have the same function. It has is this person. Has is for the third person, exactly. Okay. Yep. All right, any other questions or comments? What time is it in this moment? It is 16 past eight. Okay, so we have been in class for 15 minutes. Is the class finished? Not yet. Not yet. So we have been in class for 15 minutes. So if we go back in time, 15 minutes, it's eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Yeah. Eight o'clock, it's part of the past but the class continues. So we use the present perfect to talk about unfinished activities, actions that are not finished yet. Let me give you another example. I have been in San Miguel many times. Right now, I'm in San Salvador. I'm not in San Miguel. But I can return to San Miguel next week. I can return to San Miguel tomorrow. So even when you're speaking, the action is not happening, uh, you can do the action in the future again. Yeah. And that is the reason why the present perfect is used to talk about um, unfinished activities. Got it? Now, what is the function of, what's the difference between for and since? Who can explain that one? For is when you are going to speak a specific, a specific date. Okay, can you give me an example? All right. I have been working for Monday, for, for Monday. For one day? Yeah. Okay, so you're talking on a specific amount of time. Yeah. Okay, what about since? Since is when you are speaking maybe more than two or three days, but mm -hmm. you are not speaking about the specific day. Not exactly. Who else can explain since? Maybe when you want to um, talk about a specific date. Of when the action that is, began. Okay, I, that, that exactly. Yes, when yes, Gustavo. Action. For example, if I say I've been working since Saturday. Since Saturday. Exactly. So when you say since Saturday, that indicates that Saturday, Saturday the action the began. All right. 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 I have lived in Lourdes since 2013. So in 2013, I came More. to Lourdes. All right. Got it? 
So once again, four indicates a specific amount of time for five months, for five minutes, for five years. Sings indicates when the action began. Began. Since yes. eight o'clock, since last week, since the year 2010. Questions or comments? Do you like music? Please. Yes, Carmen Maria? Yes. Repeat, please. Sure. We use four to explain a specific amount of time. For three hours, for three days, for three years, for three centuries. You mentioned a specific amount of time. The amount of time can be small or it can also be big. For five seconds, for five years. For five days, for five decades. And since indicates when the action began. Mm -hmm. So, let me give you an example. I have lived in Lourdes since 2013. So, when you make numbers, 13, 14, blah, 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 I am saying... I have lived in Lourdes for eight years. What is the difference between those two examples? There is no difference. The information is exactly the same. I have lived in Lourdes since 2013. Uh-huh. In, in the first sentence, you are specifying specifying specify. the moment that you are start to move to, to live in Lourdes. Exactly. And the second, you are describing the all time that you have exactly. living in there. Right. But so you 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 are not let the people know in what moment you, right. you move there. Right. So uh things indicates when the action began, but the action is not finished. And four indicates the amount of time. Yeah. So if you so compare maybe, uh -huh. yeah. uh, when you use four, maybe the action has been finished. If you're using simple past tense, yes. But in this case, it's not finished because finished. I have lived in Lourdes for eight years yeah. and in this moment, I am in Lourdes. Yeah, okay. So I'm still doing the action. Yeah. Yep. Questions or comments? So, he vivido en Lourdes desde 2013. En otras palabras, he vivido en Lourdes por ocho años. Ocho. Si yo digo, he vivido en Lourdes por ocho años y hace números, lo lleva al 2013. Yes. So the information is the same. Yeah. The only difference is that you use things to indicate when the action began and you use for to indicate the amount of time. Questions or comments? Thank you. Okay. All right, so now we go with some exercises. Listen to this. The topics that we see in this class, the topics are very useful. You can apply them in a real life situation, right? So the present perfect, how often do you use the present perfect? You use it all the time, all the time, all the time. How do you say no he comido? I don't eat it. No he comido. I haven't, I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten. How do you say he comido mucho? 
I have eaten a lot. I have eaten a lot. So let me explain something. This is about pronunciation. Eaten, mm -hmm. written, gotten, mountain, eaten, written, gotten, and mountain. The name of that is glottal stop. Glottal. Glottal is related with your glottis. The part that we have uh, where you produce sounds. So you say eaten, written, gotten, mountain. Without vibration. No without the vowel sound. So uh, listen carefully. Eaten, written, gotten, mountain. 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 Let me see this here. Ya han visto esta soda? Which one? The uh, one that I wrote. Mountain. It's colored green. Green and uh -huh. black. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you go to the United States, you said, uh, and what would you like to drink? Please bring me a Mountain Dew. Mountain, Mountain Dew. Dew. Mountain Dew. Dew. Right. Now, you can Dew. say Mountain Dew. People will understand. But you want to sound as natural as possible. So what is the highest... The highest place in El Salvador. The highest place in El Salvador. Aha. Uh -huh. Santana Volcano. Mm -mm. It's not the Santana Volcano. La Palma. It's near La Palma. It's in Chalate. Pital. El Pital. Pital. El Pital is the highest mountain in El Salvador. The mm -hmm. highest mountain in El Salvador. It's very cold. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful place. Okay, questions or comments about the present perfect? <sighs> No? All right. So once again, I will show you some exercises where you need to transfer the information in the, mo in, in the document to present perfect. Let me show it to you. Okay. Can you see the document? Yes. Yes, sure. I saw a penguin. What tense is that? I saw a penguin. Uh, uh, simple pass. Simple pass. Number two, did they eat breakfast? Simple pass. Simple pass. So most of these uh, exercises, they are in the simple pass. But you need to transfer this information from the simple past to the present perfect. Got it? Got it. Okay. <laughs> Why do you laugh? <laughs> okay, let me ask, give me a second. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Okay, so there you have the, the document. 
let me make the groups, break our rooms, recreate, recreate. You will work with someone different and here we go. Practice the present perfect. Give me a second. Okay, number four and yeah. they have no. met the president. Yeah. Met. Yes. Met the president. Yeah. Number five. Okay. No, five. we didn't. No, we haven't. How do you say? Robert, uh, Ro is it Vancouver? Uh-huh. Yeah, you're right. Robert. Uh-huh. Robert visit Vancouver. Robert Robert visit. Robert has no Robert visit no Robert has visit Vancouver, no? It's a question. And uh -huh. first is has. Has Robert uh -huh. visited Vancouver? Uh, okay, yes, correct. Correct. Uh, yes. Oh, all right. Right. And the next is yes, yes, he has. Yes, he has. We can have positive, negative, and question. Yeah. We want to do a question to this. You... I don't know. No, we didn't. Uh, creo que yeah. usted, el teacher. Aquí. teacher. Yes, talk to me. And 
about the the question five of the sentence. Let me see it. Let me see it. Uh, we no, we didn't translate. Translate to present perfect transfer, or transfer. Transfer. To present perfect or make a question to in present perfect to get that answer. So, no, we didn't is in the simple past. How do you say that in the present perfect? Mm, uh, we haven't done. No, we haven't. No, we, no, haven't. we haven't. No, we haven't. Oh. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, it's just transferred the, the, it? the sentence. It's just transferred the, the sentence. From one tense to present perfect. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. Good. Let's see this here. Number six. Six. Did cover to visit Vancouver. Mm. Has. Mm. Hello, Edith.
Yeah, in the WhatsApp, the teacher send the, the picture. Okay. All right, people, questions or comments? Uh, yes, for uh, the material. What happened with the material? Ah, the, the grammar present perfect, yes. Okay. 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 Oh. All right. Um, questions or comments? Teacher. Yes, Edith. When the subject is a uh, third person, is have, had, or haven't? Has. H A S. Has. Uh huh. How do you say ella no ha llamado? She, she hasn't, hasn't called. She hasn't called. She hasn't called. She has. How do you say ella no ha venido? She hasn't come. She hasn't come. She hasn't come. Come, came, come. All right. Questions. Okay, so I'm going to send you a link. Let's see this here. Teacher. Yes, Edith. Sí, lo puede escribir en el chat. Uh, write what? The example. The? The example. Uh, which examples, uh, Edith? The, you say in this moment. What, what was? No oh, okay, sure. She hasn't called. He hasn't come. Y cuando se se usa had. Okay, had is a different tense. Ahorita estamos en el presente perfecto. Your this is a very good question. When do we use had? Para el pasado perfecto. Este es presente perfecto. Cuando usted ocupa el pasado perfecto, you use had. H-A-D. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y, y creo que aparece ese past perfect, creo que aparece en este nivel o en el siguiente. Pero de igual manera, eh, yo calculo que vamos a terminar los temas antes de tiempo y pues si no aparece el past perfect por ahí todavía yo lo puedo incluir y se los puedo explicar también thanks all right all right so mamita give me a second so this video is like four minutes or something Maybe you recognize some of the songs. Maybe you like them. Maybe you don't. Um, but the idea is de que usted cuando en su tiempo libro ponga, si digamos usted le gusta romantic music, usted pone present perfect with romantic music. Ahí le va a aparecer un gran menú. Present perfect uh, with heavy metal. Y ahí le va a aparecer. So leave, give me a second. Okay, so everybody, please watch that video. Go ahead.
Hola. All right, any questions or comments about the video? Did you recognize any of the songs? Yes, mm -hmm. some of them. Some of them, exactly. Did you watch Fer uh, Freddie Mercury? Yeah, and the King Lion, yeah. Lion King. Yeah, he says, <laughs> 
God knows, God knows I fallen in love. ¿Qué dice ahí? I fell in love. How do you say that one in Spanish? Me he enamorado. Oh, Dios. Dios sabe que me he enamorado. Exactly. Enamorado. Exactly. So hoy, después de la clase, va a buscar a su esposo, a su esposa, and tell them how much you love them. <laughs> and tell them about the inspirational song, you know, that I, I've fallen in love. Anyways, <laughs> questions or comments about the video? Did they use complete structures or do they use contractions? They use contractions. They use contractions. They use contractions. IV. And it, I've. I've, 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 I've fallen in love. I've, I've told you many times. In the same way, they use contractions. I've never seen. Uh, I never seen, right? Um, the same way you use, you hear the contractions in music. Uh, that's exactly the same way native speakers use the language. And that is the main reason why you need to use contractions too. Usted me puede decir, fíjese que a mí no me gusta ocupar la contracción. It's fine. The native speakers, they use contractions. So, es no solamente lo que yo voy a decir, sino lo que me van a decir. Yeah. Got it? So, in a conversation, you know, two different people interact. The speaker, the listener, the speaker, the listener. Questions, comments? What, Teacher, what, the, yeah. Excuse me. I problem the platform uh, exercise. Which exercise? Number 2.7. And 3.1. What problems do you have exactly? No, no video. Okay. Have you tried using a different browser? Uh -oh. Sometimes it's the browser. So imagine I'm using Google Chrome. He doesn't respond. Maybe you can try with Firefox. Or maybe you can try with another one. So sometimes the problem is the browser or maybe it's your computer. So try one of those two possibilities. Okay. Any questions or comments? Okay, for, for New Year's, what does everybody do for New Year's? They make resolutions. What's a resolution? Promise. What is it? Promise. Promises. Yes. Promise. Yeah. So he said, um, I'm not going to eat sugar anymore. I will yeah. go to the gym. I'm not going to say bad words anymore. So you make promises to yourself, promises. right? Those are resolutions. So do you remember the resolutions that you made in December 2020? Or no ISO resolutions? You didn't plan anything for 2021? I made resolutions. You survived. Huh? You survived. <laughs> right. Yeah, like I will survive. <laughs> okay, so so what do you need to do to survive? Surviving is is it's an excellent uh resolution, but what do you need to do to survive? Uh-huh. Go dancing. Learn English. Learn English. To save some money. Save money. Yeah. What get about a good job. Get, get a better job, get a good job. What else? What about going dancing on Saturdays? Is that part of the survival mode? 
<laughs> says drinking a six pack on Friday is the answer. To extend the life. Exactly, to extend life. All right, so this is what I want you to do. How many minutes do we have? Oh, we have four minutes. Yeah, yeah, four minutes. Yeah, four minutes. Four minutes. Okay, good. It's not enough. Yeah, it's not enough, you know, because I need time to recreate, uh, make the groups and all that. So uh, I said to myself last December that I was going to exercise. <laughs> I have weights on the second floor of my house. I haven't touched them for like two years. <laughs> so have I kept my word? No. no. I fail myself. Because I said, I'm going to lift weights and I'm going to be in, in, a, in a good, healthy condition. But not true. <laughs> yeah. What about you guys? I know I'm not the only one. O se han cumplido lo que prometieron, ¿verdad? Have you? ¿Qué ha hecho? ¿Qué no ha hecho? Have you changed car? Have you bought a motorcycle? Have you painted your house? Have you remodeled any parts of your house? Have you found a new person in your life? You know, all those things. Questions or comments? What about El Salvador? ¿Qué ha sucedido en El Salvador últimamente? What, what has the biggest news? <laughs> what happened to King Flip? What happened to him? <laughs> Get arrested. He has been arrested. Arrest. He has been arrested. And he continues being arrested. So the action is not finished. Right? What else is new in El Salvador? What happened to the national soccer team? They have been lost. They have lost. They have lost. They have improved because they have improved. Right? Mm. Okay. How do you say más salvadoreños se han ido del país? People less. Huh? More Salvadorians? What? Okay, so you said more Salvadorians have left the country. Have left. Have left the can, country. Can you write, please? Sure, sure. See this here. More Salvadorians have left the country. More Salvadorians have left the country. So this action is not finished because more Salvadorians can leave next month, next week, next year. So uh, the Maybe present tomorrow, perfect tomorrow. indicates uh, that the action is not finished. So we will continue with this topic tomorrow. Uh, I advise that you watch videos that you uh, that you read, and uh, if you have any questions related with the present perfect, uh, write your questions and ask me tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Sleep well. Okay, teacher. Good, good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.